CTV News at 6 with Joe Perkins. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. We begin in the skies above Vancouver Island. In the past week, there have been multiple reports of strange flying objects darting across the horizon above Victoria. On Friday, a meteor streaked across B.C., working its way down into Washington State. But it's what else was in the sky that night that has many curious, including a prominent UFO researcher who says he's now on the case. CTV's Gord Kerbis has a story. A meteor tracking website shows the January 11th reports of people sighting a fiery object in the sky traveling from B.C. towards Washington State. But it seems that a meteor may not have been the only thing in the sky at that time. There are definitely some odd stuff took place on the 11th and it took place on the island and the Victoria area around, around there and definitely in the lower mainland. Brian Vike is a UFO investigator based in Houston, British Columbia. That's right, the other Houston. His blog, The Vike Factor, is now filled with sightings from the 11th of strange lights and a triangular-shaped object the size of a school bus over Vancouver Island. A woman had taken her uh, children to school. She stopped. Uh, this is after a 6.30 meteor sighting. She had looked up a flash of the sky again, bang, here comes this solid object, triangular in shape, three orange balls at each of the points. She watched it move along, it came to a hover, and then bang, all the three balls of light went into the center, and bang, this thing was gone. I looked up in the sky and I saw just this light coming over. It doesn't look like it's from Earth. It looks like it's from somewhere else. We've spoken with Vancouver Islanders yeah, before about their there. strange sightings, and then Vike has looked into many of them as well. He's been investigating UFO sightings across Canada with a keen interest in his home province. What are you? He was recently sent this video of a strange flying object over the lower mainland shot with a night vision camera. And he's got objects doing all kinds of weird things in the sky at night and everything, and this is on a tripod steady and everything, so it's got some weird stuff. Since starting, Vike has looked into more than 11,000 reports and says 90% of them can be explained. Usually people seeing light reflected off the International Space Station and Chinese lanterns or search and rescue flares are often mistaken for more mysterious objects. But every once in a while reports jump out at them, like this 2010 sighting by a woman near Campbell River. This thing actually rose up from the, from the ground, hovered a little bit and then came towards her vehicle. By this time she's kind of, you know, getting a little excited and freaking out. And it went right over top of her vehicle and it was another triangle. Bike says 2013 is already starting off with an incredible number of reports. Anyone seeing strange objects is invited to contact him through British Columbia UFOs.blogspot.ca. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.